Uh, hey guys, so I'm Sam, and uh, from if you remember from last time, uh, we had created a program to read a board of empty tiles in Minesweeper, and then click on the first one. So if we just run that again, it should do that, right? So it read the empty board and said there are 81 tiles, and then it went ahead and clicked on the left top corner or the first tile, as I like to call it, of the board to then go ahead and. Uh, click there yeah so basically our, our, the basics of our input and output were prepared so i think this time we'll go ahead and then uh, read all of these tiles so that regardless of what situation the board is in the program will be able to read it all right so let's go back to broomstick so right now i just have one tile so i've saved it in a variable so if it's a set of tiles that i want to read i think i would rather store in a dict so let's just call it tiles Oops, tiles is equal to create a dict so then i have i think we call it underscore because uh, that's how i would like to display it uh, when i read the mind uh, when i read the board sorry <laughs> image dot uh, here we just take this we'll put it here and uh, just yeah so then we'll go ahead and we will create a so no no we keep an integer image dot open tiles slash one dot png and so on and so forth i'll just go ahead and type this out you guys don't have to really watch that all right so then i have now gone ahead and uh, typed out all of these tiles so i can remove this unclick tile uh, so then now when we read the board we will have to read each of the uh, tiles individually so I'll have to along with the position also store all of the uh, values of them right so uh, we'll just actually clear all of this it's not very useful um, I will then go ahead and uh, create uh, all tiles as an empty list and then I will read uh, so for uh, tile yeah in tiles we will sit and we will read all right so i will say uh, position is equal to positions actually uh, positions is equal to uh, pi auto gui dot i think the spelling is wrong there auto gui dot locate all on screen i want uh, tiles so this will give me a generator but in this case it's okay to keep it as a generator uh, so then I have to append all of these positions to all tiles along with the value so I will then say all tiles dot append uh, dict with uh, value is tile and position is oops that has to be in the string position position <laughs> is going to be uh, oh, I'll have to actually go through this then for the um, positions. Uh, open that, oops, and then go here and B. So at the end, again, I should get um, all tiles as 81 uh, when I'm uh, in the small board. So let's just again make sure that works. So if you can see what I've done here is basically I am looping through all of these tiles and then I am saving their value and their position separately in another list. So basically first it will find all the unclicked and will find all the 0 value, 1 value, 2 value and so on. And this will uh, then give me all of these tiles. So let's see if this is working correctly. So yeah, this is a good board to test that on because it has some uh, uh, click tiles as well. So this one is obviously going to take a lot longer to read even in general the uh, locate function is going to take a lot of time to read so yeah th we see that this works because again we have 81 so even um, uh, a degree the documentation tells us that uh, it's going to take long uh, I forgot where exactly it says that uh, locate uh, okay I guess that's not the best thing uh, we'll go to this and we'll see uh, locate functions are fairly expensive they can take a full second to run 
right? So uh, later on, we we're going to use this uh, optimization, so that uh, that would be useful. But for now, it's going to take a full second to run for uh, on a good system which is not running screen recording. So on my system, you can imagine how long that's going to take. Uh, and has to run for each of these ten. I think there are ten, right? Uh, nine, ten. Yeah, perfect. Ooh, yeah, t t there are ten, so it's, it could take up to ten seconds to run each time, but that's fine. Uh, we're still not going to reach the optimization stage yet. Uh, so as you, so now we have all of these. So again, let's sort them as we were sorting them before. So all tiles is equal to uh, sorted all tiles is equal to lambda. X again the same thing X but this time we'll also have to say it's a position uh, one and X position zero right so this should again give us and then uh, for this board let's actually print a value that we know so this uh, zero one two three so this should give us one oops uh, print all tiles Oh, it's three, right? I think it was three. Uh, value. I think there's an extra one there. Yeah. So now this should give us three. I mean one because it's reading. Uh, what's happened there? Uh, sorted. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I missed the parenthesis there. So this should give us one because we're reading uh, zero, one, two, three. This style, the value of this style, which is one. Uh, then we can also read the value of this style and this style and just to make sure that works but uh, is this a spelling mistake uh, x position key error so it doesn't have a key of position because I have misspelled position as usual uh, position position yeah all right. so at least that's that's spelled correctly now uh, uh, let's just run that again so Unfortunately, it's going to take a long time for now. Uh, as in the first read is always going to take some time because we cannot be assured as to exactly where the board is. But um, yeah, one. So that's correct. So one plus nine plus nine, eighteen. So plus eighteen. Three plus eighteen is what? Twenty-two. Uh, Twenty-one. So this should give us a three. So let's just make sure that works as well. Uh, and uh, actually instead of that we can uh, run this in an interactive mode that will give us that we can do some more testing rather than having to wait 10 seconds each time but that's a very basic uh, thing of reading this board I think after this we, we can create a display function and uh, leave it at that so yeah alright perfect so uh, all tiles uh, uh, this is 3 plus 8 uh, 3 plus 9 which is <laughs> 12 value so I mean value so this should be again 2 which is perfect so I think that that's working fine so let's click with that and clear that uh, so let's also create a display function so that we know uh, where the I mean we know that each of the um, what do you call it <laughs> Yeah, so that we know that the board is working correctly. So uh, let's just, I think we'll start off this time, next time we'll sort of refactor this. So uh, we have to find the width. So width will be the, uh, get all the positions. Uh, we'll get all the uh, x positions. So x uh, position 0. Yeah, 0 for x in all tiles uh, yeah so then if we give a set of this that will and the length of that set will be the width of the so if you see what I'm doing here what I'm doing is I am getting the uh, all the x positions so that would be consistent around this right so x of this and x of all of these tiles as in each of these rows is going to be the same so if I can then find the number of unique x values that is going to be the width so I will then say uh, for i comma all tile I mean tile in all tiles uh, print 
डाइल वैल्यू एन इज इक्वल टू परफेक्ट एंड इफ आई प्लस वन तो दें दें दिस इस आई प्लस वन मॉड विथ इज इक्वल टू जीरो प्रिंट व्हाट यू वांट टू कॉल व्हाट यू वांट प्रिंट नो प्रिंट न्यूलाइन या परफेक्ट so I'll do this. Uh, so this should then print the state of the board. Let's hope this is working. Uh, that need not have been interactive, but I think this should work fine. So basically, what I'm doing is now I'm going to read the whole board and print it out each time. So so that we can like again just make sure that it's right. Uh, string indices must be sorry what? String indices must be integers. So tile value. Uh, What's going on? It's called value, right? Of course. Uh, let's just print time and see what's happening here. Then. Oh, oh, what's happening? Uh, no. Excuse me. Okay, can't hold it. Thank you. Uh, we'll remove the interactive component and see what happens here. Uh, so I'm not sure what, what's what's going on. For some reason, it looks like oh, I I get it. I didn't. Uh, so I mean, I put i comma tile, but I did not enumerate this, which is a rookie mistake. That rookies like me make. So <laughs> let's let's see if this works. Uh, so now it should hopefully work. Um, but again, this is why we constantly test our program just to make sure we're not making some silly errors. So. Um, Int and set, yeah, of course, because width has to be length of this. Then, uh, so again, that's another equally rookie error. So I didn't, I think I didn't said that we need to get the length of this, but then I kind of forgot because uh, that's all right. So uh, let's hope this works now. Otherwise, I'll just be looking stupid at this point. Uh, so it's printing. Oh yeah. So because I had put the. Uh, uh, print command here. That's why that went that went out the window there. But I mean, looks right. Uh, zero one dash 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 dash. Uh, looks right. So let's just run this again and make sure it's going correctly. Uh, so yeah, that looks right. So zero 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 one two one one three. So yeah. So I mean, I think that's working for us well. So that's that's perfect. Uh, let's let's just try once. Oh, that's an interesting board. So, <laughs> so yeah, I think I think we can end this video here. So this time we learned how to read all of the board. Uh, next time I think we'll still refactor this. This code is getting a little out of hand, and I don't quite like it. So uh, again, this looks right. Zero 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 one two one three one 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 one. Yeah, it looks looks correct. So the next in the next. Uh, video we will sit and we will refactor all of this i don't really quite like how this is going and this is not going to be very very extensible so i think we will make some good data structures to store all of this data in and that should be good for this video all right thanks for joining me guys i hope to see you again next time